Pinnacle Orthopedic supports Cobb County High School athletics. As an athlete, you put it all on the line each day. Training, skill, and dedication. It is with these same characteristics that Pinnacle puts it all on the line for you, ensuring that you continue to play the game you love. With 27 physicians and 10 locations in Metro Atlanta, or here in Cobb County, we are able to maximize results and minimize recovery time. Pinnacle Orthopedics, keeping you at the top of your game. Welcome to the week four edition of Cobb Football Friday. This is our class 7A show. I'm your host, John Bednarowski, along with the bloviator of big time bits, Fox 5 sports director, Ken Rodriguez. Bits? Yeah. Big time bits as opposed to hits? No. Is that a typo? No, because you're talking bits. No, that's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> You want to pick a few games? Uh, a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, because we won't discuss <laughs> McEachern for a while yet. Oh, boy. Hill Grove at West Forsyth. The Hawks came out sluggish against North Gwinnett. By the time quarterback Bryson Parks got the offense going, it was in too big of a hole to come back. West Forsyth has a win over Woodstock and then dropped its home opener to Class uh, 3A Pace Academy. This is kind of a tough one. But I'm going to go with Hillgrove. I'm going with Hillgrove. Woodstock at Kennesaw Mountain. The Wolverines pulled away from Sequoia last week for their first win. The Mustangs have been in both of their games before falling in the final moments to Hiram and Sprayberry. This is a true toss-up. I'm going to go with Woodstock. I'm going to go with Kennesaw Mountain. Pebblebrook at Marietta. The Falcons are 2-0 and have outscored South Cobb and Osborne by a combined 89-0. Marietta is 0-2, but have fallen, fallen to Wheeler and blessed Trinity. Freshman quarterback Harrison Bailey is getting comfortable in the Blue Devils offense, and I think he will find a way to pick Pebblebrook apart. I'm going with Marietta. I'm going to stick with Pebblebrook. Jonesboro and McEachern, after going 11-2 a year ago, Jonesboro has started 0-3 and, and has outscored a total of 9 points. The defense, however, has played well, allowing a total of 39 points. McEachern hasn't played well and still had a chance to beat Grayson last week. I'm going to go with McEachern. But man, I'm to McEachern, but man, last week was brutal. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to go with McEachern too. Sprayberry at Campbell. The Yellow Jackets got a late win, got, got a win late against Kennesaw Mountain last week behind running of Trey Sermon and Logan Roberson. Campbell got a whole lot better from week one to week two, and they had last week off to reaffirm. I'm going to go with Sprayberry. Of course, Sprayberry it is. Return to Comp Football Friday webpage to see our Class A through 6A show. And while you're there, sign up for our You Pick 'em contest sponsored by Superior Plumbing, where you can again win an iPad just for being able to pick out your friends. I'll pick your friends. There you pick go. out your friends. It's good to do both. My name is Julia Hughley, and I won the iPad from Superior Plumbing in the Cobb You Pick 'em. Go, Warriors! Don't forget to pick up the Cobb Football Friday print edition every Friday and check out our live real-time scoreboard at CobbFootballFriday.com or to get the scores at the game, follow us on Twitter at Cobb Football Friday. Mm -hmm. That's it for now. I'm Marietta Daily Journal Sports Editor John Bednarowski for my tag team partner, Fox Fox, Ken Rodriguez. He'll see you at the games. Yeah. Hi, I'm Drew Tutt, the general manager of Ed Bulls Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram the number one Jeep dealer in the entire United States of America. That's something I'm very proud of. I'm also proud to be a sponsor for the schools in the surrounding area.